Now I've been having a few requests of how to upgrade your old Bridgeport or XYZ machine from an R8 system of collets like the one in this picture uh, to something more practical. Now if you, ha if you are using R8 you'll be aware that you have to drop the drawbar down and tighten it every time you want to change collets or tighten up the collet. Um, this is time consuming and it can be dangerous and you will over time eventually elongate drawbar which means that you will need to change the drawbar. Alternatively what we have moved to is the easy change system like this one and this has a knurled handle and it's got ball bearings on the inside which locates. Now this, would, this is what we call the master adapter. This goes on your machine and basically once it's tightened up that's it you only need one of these and then all you're going to be doing is swapping between the various adapters with regard to adapters we do an ER collet system so this is an ER32 and that takes collets like this which are already more accurate than a standard R8 and R8 has three slots in it this has six per side which means it grips a lot tighter than an R8 collet. But in addition to the ER32, we do an ER25, an ER20, and an ER16 system. Then we have taper adapters, and the taper adapter would allow you to fit a, either a keyless or a keyed chuck onto the end of it. And then we have a shell mill adapter, this one here is a 22mm spigot shell mill adapter. This will allow you to hold a conventional 50mm or 63mm shell mill head uh, for indexable inserts. And then we have in mill holders or weld on adapters. This one here is a 10, uh, but we do a 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 25 mil, and this would allow you to hold a conventional flatted shank slot drill or end mill using the grub screw um, to locate on the flat. So essentially if you can imagine that this is the, the master adapter is fitted into the bridge port, all you would do is you would take your slave adapter, offer it up, and that's it locked. To release, you basically press in the gold button, twist the knob handle, it falls out, and then you can switch over to your next one. 